Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel and my kitchen. I have a few things I want to get done today. I really have been horrible at posting videos and recording the last couple of weeks and I'm trying to make videos. I'm in the middle of two videos and the first one that I started on, I don't even think I'm going to go through with that one. I think I'm just going to delete all footage and then Oh, and then I have the second video, which I never finished. I'm waiting on seeds so I can do a seed haul in that video. I'm really excited to do that, but I'm waiting for the seeds in the mail. So I figured, why don't I just start a new video, start fresh. Today, I really want to bring in, I have two bird feeders. I have one hummingbird feeder, and then I have um, just a regular wild bird feeder. I'm gonna bring those in, clean those up. I might not be able to put food in it just yet though because I have to wait for it to dry. One of them is wood so it kind of takes a while to dry. I can't really dab it too much because it's wood and it just it needs time to dry. So I'm going to do that. I got another bird feeder and I'm going to clean that. That one I'll probably end up putting outside because it's plastic. I can just dry that with the towel and then fill that. Bird feeder food and clean. What else did I say I was going to do? I just went to the grocery store and I got some cilantro. I really want to try to extend its life because in the past I've gotten cilantro, it only lasts a couple days. I really want to try and make it last about a week. And I think in order to do that, you need to place it in water and take off the dead gross stuff. I'm gonna do that and then I really, really need to organize my pantry. I have these two cupboards here and then I have this one below here. I also have the big cabinet out in my living room that is more for bulk storage. So things that I already have either in the fridge or in the pantry, I'll just kind of throw in there. So I wanna get a lot of this stuff either cleaned out or put in there because I have no space as it is and I have some of the stuff that I got at the grocery store that I just don't want to put away until I get that organized. Let's get started. I think I'm going to start on the pantries first and then and do all the kitchen stuff first and then we'll migrate to doing the bird feeders and going outside and doing that whole thing. The very first thing I want to do is the cilantro. I don't want it sitting out any longer and I don't know if you're supposed to wash it first before putting it in the water, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I might just wash it as I go, like as I use it. I don't really know if this one's considered good. It's got kind of a brown leaf. Just to be safe, I guess I'll just throw that one out. So what we're doing is we're basically just picking off all of the bad branches of cilantro and putting the good ones in this jar. <clears throat> and then when we fill the jar, we're going to fill it about, I believe, one to two inches full of water. And then we're going to stick it in the fridge. I think one of the sites that I read was to fill it with water and then cover it with a bag or something and I don't think I'm gonna do that I, I'm just gonna stick these guys in water and see how that works most of these cilantro branches are actually in really really good shape I'm shocked. And that's why I grabbed cilantro. And it, it was on sale for 97 cents or something like that. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I don't really use cilantro super, super often, but my bearded dragon can have cilantro safely, eat cilantro, and he's never had it before. And I tried to give him a piece and actually a couple pieces. He liked it. He kept eating it out of my hand. And so we have a winner 
which is pretty exciting. So that's mainly the reason why I wanted to get this. Now we're going to fill it. Just a little bit of water. Probably good. And then we're going to stick this in the fridge and it should be good for up to a week. I have encountered a problem. I don't really have anywhere to put it. Oh, actually that's perfect. Right there is fine. Now we want to get to these pantry cupboard things up here. I have these two and then the one down here. I wanted to show you guys what I found at Goodwill. Oh, here's the receipt for it. I paid $16.79. I did buy some Pringles too. I have about half that is buying Pringles when I go to Goodwill. But I got, it's basically a new set of Pyrex glassware. And there's only two bowls in here. There's the small one. And then there's the big one. I only have one Pyrex dish, glass dish, with a lid. And I told myself that I need to keep an eye out for Pyrex dishes with lids, because those are really hard to find. And they are a little pricey at, let's say, Fred Meyer. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good find and I don't even think they're used. They're still in the plastic. So I thought that was really cool. I can't get you guys any higher than that. So I had to turn my phone up, but I'll also show you guys up close. This is what we're working with, with one of the cupboards get on this chair. This is mainly like my... Oh, I don't know. So I have crackers, I have popcorn, granola, and some dried goods like beans and rice. And then down here, I just have random, random things. And then same with this, greens, some cornmeal, or not cornmeal, uh, corn grits, which I tried and I don't really like them. <laughs> I'm not from this house. I just really tried. I just really wanted to try these. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I might try them again. Maybe try them try to make them differently but yeah so I have honey peanut butter I have this fermented honey garlic stuff in here I'm probably gonna throw that honey away just because it's very grainy I know you can heat up honey to make it a little less grainy like more runny but it's so little that I think I'm just gonna throw it away so let's go through this cupboard and get rid of anything that might be expired and maybe try and just organize it a little bit better. Sorry for the position. There's no comfortable way that I'm able to put you guys where you can see. So I'm just going to try and go through the stuff. And hopefully get some stuff out of here. Let's see. Panko crumbs I still use. So I'm going to keep those in there. I think... Some of these graham crackers that are in here are expired, unfortunately. These are expired, yes, yeah, 722. So I'm gonna have to unfortunately throw those out. I hate, hate, hate throwing food away so much, but I would rather get it out of my pantry than have it taking up space from wasting space in here. Wow, these are expired too, that sucks. Two full containers of graham crackers. That is a little bit of a bummer. I'm gonna keep the popcorn up here. I'm gonna probably also keep this up here. And then, so I have lentils that are, should be still good. Best by December. Oh no, these aren't good. A, these are expired December of 2022. Good. I have a brownie mix in here. I'm honestly probably never going to make this, so I'm just going to toss it. It's probably, I never bake, um, like, 
brownies or cookies from packages because they have so many preservatives in them and I would just much rather make them from scratch. So I'd rather throw it out, unfortunately, than keep it. I have brown rice up here now, and then I have this wild blend rice. Black beans can stay. I got the popcorn, granola, rice. Honestly, I could probably move this cornmeal to up here with this stuff kind of want to have a little bit more of a reason or like a rhyme and reason where it kind of makes a little bit more sense what else can i put i kind of like to have my granola down here i could probably put my quinoa up here because i really don't use that super super often i do want to keep this down here i have flax meal or flaxseed meal i'll probably put that up here well, I really don't use much of this stuff too often. That was chia seeds, same thing. I don't really use these that often. When are they expired? Okay, so they're expired at the end of the year. So I really have to use these up before they go bad. So I have this little, I like to see my packages, the labels this behind there. Try and scoot that. And then I'll put these two seeds up here. And I like to have it to where I can see each and everything because if I end up shoving stuff back behind there, I will totally forget about it and then it will most definitely go expired. Um, okay, so back here, see, same thing. I have these apple cinnamon oatmeals. I really honestly don't like these at all. I only like the cinnamon, um, apple, no, not apple cinnamon, just the plain cinnamon. I really don't like these, but I really don't want to throw them out. So let's put these down here for now. I'll probably just keep them, move those to the back because it's a big bag. Same with this one so I can see it. And then I will now move these in the front. Like that. This one. Put that there. Um, and then I just got these granola bars. I don't usually buy granola bars. These are pretty, pretty good. Well, they're not pretty good. They're a little bit better than traditional granola bars. They don't have a lot of ingredients. They don't have too many bad ingredients in there, so I like to get those whenever I get some granola bars. Okay, so let's put those there. I want to keep this little honey garlic ferment so it's easily accessible. Probably going to put the peanut butter back there. Like I said, I'm going to throw this out. So there's our little garbage pile. And then this honey could probably, since it's big... I can put it back there. I use honey pretty often, so I will not forget about that. These granola bars, I don't, I didn't pick those out when I picked these out. And then I just ended up putting a couple in this pantry just for a little quick snack. These sunflower seeds, February 2023. I just might as well throw these out because there's so little left. I'm not gonna eat these. And it is almost February. Okay, perfect. So we got this organized and the bottom organized. I did get Nick some snacks. He's on call this weekend. So I like to get him some snacks for when he's on call just because we don't know when he's going to get a call. We don't really um, know when to expect them. He can get them at 3 in the morning on the weekends or he can get them at 8 in the morning or 8 at night. So I like to grab him some snacks. He likes sour candies. So I wanted to gift him this little bag of gummies and then also some beef sticks. So I'm gonna put these in an easily accessible place to where whenever he gets called, I can pack my to-go bag and just grab these and go. All right.
now we're on to the middle the middle section so let's see here put these down here for now saltines i'm probably gonna keep in here okay actually <laughs> let's put these down here for now these sunflower seeds expire march i'm gonna keep those i don't know when dates expire though let's see i think i might just throw these away because we don't eat these unfortunately keep that in the front i might even move these peanuts down here actually let's do this move this back here and then put the honey there okay freeze freeze-dried fruit there for now and again i don't buy mixes too often but it's kind of nice sometimes when you don't know what to make for dinner or you just kind of want something to throw together i've honestly had these cornbread mixes for probably a year now which just goes to show you i don't what is that Okay, yeah, so these expire September of 2023. I need to eat those before September of this year. Uh, actually, let's do this. When does this expire? September, same thing. This one, I think we just got this. September, yeah, so all of these expire in September. I'm gonna have to eat those up. They're still good. And then the buttermilk pancake mix I just got. I'm gonna keep that there. Oh, these breadcrumbs, I totally forgot. I'm going to put them right here. That's perfect. Um, and then these fruit mixes, I'm probably just going to put right there. And that fits pretty snug. And then the crackers. I can probably just put them back there. Oh, we are making progress. That looks so much better. I love it. So much better. I don't usually buy a lot of pantry stuff just because I know that we are very limited in pantry space. But now that I mention it, I want to show you guys what Nick is building me. He is building me a outdoor shelf in the garage. There's still a... Please don't mind my door. There's still a few things he needs to put in he needs to put in the shelves but oh my goodness you guys so here is the shelf it's so beautiful he made this from scratch <laughs> he's gonna put a little whiteboard so i can keep track of all the inventory i have and he still just needs to put up shelves in there and then it will be done and we can put some stuff in there overall this cabinet this is the one next to the one we just organized is pretty functional i don't think anything in here really needs to be super organized when does this expire Ooh, this is expired it isn't too much of a loss just because i didn't like it too much Hopefully this is still good. Yeah, 2024, that yeast is still good. I also have some yeast in the fridge, so this isn't the only yeast I have. So these are both still good. I have I have baking powder, baking soda, or vice versa. And then I have some milk back there, but I might... Oh, I have more yeast back there. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see, expiration... Where are you? October. Okay, so we need to use this up. I'm going to put this in the front where I can see it. I have some sprinkles, Halloween sprinkles and frosting back there. I'm just going to keep that back there. I don't really think that stuff will go bad. I'm going to turn this around. There we go. Hmm, actually, I'm going to put that back there. I'm going to try and make a mental note that that yeast is there cornstarch cocoa this is all pretty good this though can be 
organized a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that brown sugar real quick. But we have regular chocolate chips and we have powdered sugar, brown sugar, marshmallows. When do these expire? July of 2022. What is this one? I really don't want to test it. I don't want to eat something that's expired. I'm gonna toss those. A little bit more space to work with. I'm gonna put our powdered sugar, our brown sugar. Put these, try and straighten that out a little bit so we can stack that there. Chocolate chips I use pretty often, so I'm gonna put those in the front. These, I know I just opened those around Halloween, October. Those are probably still good. And all of this stuff, cornmeal, can probably get put back there. I'm gonna scoot these over here. All of these are good. These don't really need to get organized. I do have some lard in here. I really do not like the flavor of the lard when I made those, I can't remember what they're called, but I didn't really like them. I tasted the lard. I didn't really like that. I'm probably not gonna use it again. I'm just gonna throw that away. And because I don't like this sitting here covering everything, I'm gonna move these up here. And then we have all of our sauces. We have our orzo. That could probably go like that some noodles back there that I really should have used up this week when I made chicken noodle soup. But when you put things in front of things, you don't see what's behind it. And that is what we're trying to prevent. All these noodles are fine here. So those are good. Everything there is gonna get tossed. I do have this curry that we gotta put there and these crispy jalapenos can actually go up here. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna move down to the lower cabinet. And with this cabinet, I can just put you guys on the floor on the tripod. Oh, I really, really have to get better at doing first in, first out kind of stuff. That's what we called it. I used to work at a pet store and that's what we would call it when we would get new cans in. We would put those in the back, kind of like grocery stores would do. They would put all of the new um, canned goods in the back and then move the old ones to the front. It is a tedious process. It could be a tedious process, but it's just something that we really, really, really need to start doing because I do not do it here and I don't want to push things in the back when they expire first. So I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do is go through all these cans and make sure they're still good. We've only been living here, I've only been building this little tiny pantry for a year, so canned goods should really not go bad that fast but I do still want to make the effort in taking the old stuff and putting it in front. And I'm gonna take out all of this stuff first so I have some room to work so I'm not overwhelmed. And by looking at it, these Cheerios, I'm probably just gonna toss, I'm not gonna eat them. There's no point in uh, having them waste space in there. I am throwing a lot of food away, unfortunately, but these are still good. These will go up there. The crackers, I might be able to fit. I'll see if I can fit them up there in the cupboards that we just organized. Okay, let's just get this done. The way that I like to typically organize my pantry uh, for canned goods is I like to put like things with like things, meaning I like all my green beans together. I like all of my red beans and black beans and corn, 
all stack together and that makes it a lot easier when you are organizing by expiration as well because then you can keep track a little better of the things that are expiring first you can put in front and then the ones that are expiring the latest are the ones that are going in back and so that's that I have already helped myself in that way by keeping everything that are alike together and at this point I was just organizing by expiration <sighs> I am all done organizing all of these cans Ideally, this is not how I want my pantry to look, but it's what we can work with for now and that I am perfectly okay with. So I have all of this, I guess it's not a lot of stuff, but I have some things that I took out in order to do that, that I want to put some things in here, like I might see if I can also fit that up there. I feel so much better organizing all that stuff and now I need to stay with it keep with it and keep doing first in first out so I don't have to do this because it did take me a while it took me probably about 30 minutes I am gonna throw everything away that I that is either expired or I just will eat in time and then I'm gonna go ahead and put these chips and sugar in my cupboard and then we're gonna move on to our next project. I have two bird theaters, like I said. I have one hummingbird theater, and that one is out in my backyard. I put that up in the last video I made. And then I have my wild bird theater, which is in my front yard. And then I got another wild bird theater at the store today. This guy right here. I, it's okay, it's not, my favorite but I think it's pretty cute and just simple easy to clean and those are the most important things and that obviously will be feeding birds and <laughs> giving them food and then I also got this big bag of wild bird feeder I'm gonna go outside and grab both of those bird feeders we're gonna clean them was the bird feeder that I was talking about. It's a wooden bird feeder. And I did just wash it and kind of soak it with some soap. I know you're supposed to do it with bleach, but I don't really carry bleach in my household. I'm just going to clean these little screens off with some soap and water, warm water. And then I'll return this bird feeder outside. And then this guy as well.
while I wait for my hummingbird feeder to dry out a little bit, I'm going to make some hummingbird nectar. It's four parts water to one part sugar. So it's four cups of water, clean water, filtered water, and then one cup of sugar. All right, you guys, I am so tired. I'm glad that I got the pantry done and then the bird feeders. That was my two main things that I wanted to get done today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week or weekend whenever I am able to post this video. And I will see you guys next time.